Hey guys, how's it going? You know, if you're like me right now, you're kind of uh, running out of things to do during this whole self-quarantine time. And so I decided I'm going to start doing some more of the things that I've been putting off because I haven't had time to do them in the past. And that includes one of my favorite things to do, which is crafts. And if you've read my blog recently, I, recent, I talked about finding a newspaper article about my great-grandma and great-grandpa straw hun celebrating their 50th wedding anniversary and some of the other items that went along with it that I also found. So I decided, hey, let's create this little collage to memorialize their 50th wedding anniversary. And, well, since a lot of you are at home now too, why not record me doing it and share this video with you? So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to record me putting together this little collage. And actually, this is what it looks like right now. So that's what we're making today. I'm not going to show you too much because you'll have to see how it is and you'll get to see what it looks like later. So if this is something that you think you'd like me to continue on as a series, then leave some comments down below and let me know some other ideas that you have, uh, craft-wise, collages, uh, things you'd like to see me do, or if you have any questions, then maybe we'll turn this into a series. So for now, let's get started with Craft Time with Auntie Jen. So here's what I'm going to be working with today. I collected all this stuff beforehand, so all I would have to do is just really kind of put things together. So these are the photos that inspired the whole thing. This is uh, Great Grandma and Great Grandpa Strahan on their 50th wedding anniversary and the proclamation that their neighbors uh, gave to them. Aunt Patty gave me copies of these. And this is the newspaper article that I found on newspapers that sparked this whole thing to begin with. And then I have a picture of their old house. It's kind of hard to see. It's a little bit darker, but it shows up really well. And then I also included a copy of their marriage license that I found on Ancestry. So these are the items that I'm going to be using to put together. And then this rest of the stuff I had in my collection already. And then I just got a cheap frame from the store. So let's get started. Now before you want to get into this and start attaching photos and memorabilia in here, by the way, all of these, they are all copies. None of these are original from what I have. Okay, so always use copies for that. And the next thing is, is even though these are copies and it's going to be in a scrapbook, you want to do something like this. I wrote on the back of each photo that I have what the information is about these photos. The dates, the names, and what they're for. I did the same thing for the newspaper clipping that I had as well. That I found it on newspapers.com and the date that I found it and what it's for. And the same with the marriage license. Everything that I included in here I wrote the back on the back information about these. So that way, if anything were to happen and these this, scra this collage came apart or someone took it apart, then they would know what these all were for. And I also did something extra. I wrote on the inside of the frame some information. The fact that I created it on this date here and what if created it for and it was to celebrate their anniversary and I also put my name and my relationship to them as well in case again this gets taken apart or anything in the future. So without any further delay let's get started. I'm going to use the back of this page here so I stay within the parameters of the frame that I need to. So this is going to be my canvas to work on. So I worked with this a little bit beforehand to see how I wanted to put everything together. So really it's up to you how you want to put collages together. You know, I printed these out myself and I wasn't even sure the sizes I wanted to print. So I just kind of went with it and just tried to create things in such a way that was going to be readable still and you know be able to fit everything and let me tell you it's a tight fit to try to make sure things 
look good on here when you're doing them because it's going to be kind of snug. But okay, I think. So you want things to definitely be as readable as possible and okay I think that that's gonna be good how that is and now I get to add on all the embellishments but before that I'm going to tape these photos down just to keep them in place at least so I can move uh, the embellishments around behind them So here's the layout that I have decided for uh, my collage. Now from here I can start adding in the embellishments that I have and placements of where I think. I always cut stickers out before I detach them from the back. That way I can move them wherever I want to and then figure out uh, where the best place is going to be uh, for them. So I'm going to move some stuff around here and see what I like and then trim if necessary, attach things and go from there. Let's see. Now, as you see, I've got tons of little scraps here. Unfortunately, I can't find my big sheets of my um, scrapbook paper, so I'm gonna have to get creative. So the, the trick here is layering. Layering to make things just look right, look just right. So, I think, yeah, I like that there. And I use tape for some things, but for other things, then I will use glue. Now the trick with doing collages is just layering. Just, you know, once you get the base down, then you can start putting papers underneath. I'm just putting the ribbon here that I've got underneath to give it a little bit more depth. And I'm gonna put some more papers underneath to bring colors. And I'm putting embellishments on top of things here. And uh, as you see, yeah, some things are kind of sticking over the edge. I will eventually trim those off. So, but that's just the, the key here is just start layering and see what you like and what you don't like. And you can always trim things and move it around. Well, what do you think? I think that looks pretty good. I got most of my embellishments on there that I wanted to get on. And as if you were watching, you see I was using a toothpick to put glue underneath some of the areas just to really hold them down a little bit better since I layered it with lace and paper. And you know, sometimes you just can't get underneath there to get the, the glue, so. But otherwise, I think it looks really good. It just needs to dry a little bit. Maybe a little bit more glue in some areas, but the good thing is, is the glass is gonna hold this in place. So I shouldn't have to do too, too much. It's just enough to keep it on there. So, all right, let's put it together and see what we got. Okay, before we push these down, let's take a look. What do you guys think? I think it looks really good. 
I think I'm really happy with it. All right, so let's get the back attached and I will show you then where I'm gonna put this. So I created this wall a couple of years ago when we first moved in and I call it my memorial wall. It's a place where I display all of my collages, some photos of um, friends, family, ancestors who have passed on. And so I'm going to add the new collage that I just created up here on my wall, along with the little trinket that my dad gave me that was passed down to him. This belonged to Grandma and Grandpa Strawhun, and it was given to them on their 50th wedding anniversary. So I'm going to display it up here with the collage. There. I think that's going to work out very well. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had a good time uh, watching me as I made this beautiful collage to commemorate my uh, great grandma and great grandpa's 50th wedding anniversary and like I said before if this is something that you want me to continue on as a series and make some other arts and crafts and record them and share them with you then leave the comments down below and let me know what you think so but thanks for being with me today we'll see you guys later